Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths A Level Practice Paper B. Here we're on question 3. Simplify this very difficult said, giving your answer in the form P root 3 minus Q, where P and Q are positive rational numbers. Rational here, giving away a clue that it might involve a fraction. If it was a whole number, it would say integer, so it's probably going to be a fraction. Okay, so what we have to do here to eliminate the square root of 3 on the bottom is we need to times by the conjugate of 8 minus root 3. So 8 plus root 3 times on the top and 8 root plus root 3 times on the bottom. So to times uh, two fractions, we multiply the top together like this and we multiply the denominators together like this. Okay, so let's see what we end up getting. 6 root 3 times 8, we get um, 30, no, 48 root 3. Uh, 6 root 3 times root 3, that would be 6 times 3, which is 18. Uh, minus 4 times 8 is minus 32. And minus 4 root 3. On the denominator, we're going to get 64. We're going to get an add root 3 and a minus 8 root 3, which will cancel. And minus root 3 times root 3 is minus 3. So with this fraction here, let's simplify the top. We're going to get minus uh, 14, uh, add 48 root 3 minus 4 root 3, that's 44 root 3 over 64 minus 3 is 61. Now, I don't believe this cancels down anywhere. So splitting this up, we're going to get minus 14 over 61. Add 44 root 3 over 61. So P here is the thing that's multiplied by root 3, so that's 44 over 61. And Q here is the thing that we're subtracting, so that's just going to be 14 over 61, because it's already got a negative in front of it. And they're positive as well, P and Q. Okay, great. So we can always check our answer on the calculator just uh, by being very careful using the fractions button and the thirds buttons here. You can just type in your... your um, your square root thirty number, and then it gives you the answer. So you can always check your answer by that if you need to. Great, full marks.